Hey everyone, it's Albert, aka CryptoVert, and I'm coming at you late. I failed on my promise to release the video yesterday on Wednesday. I've been traveling, came from Florida, now I'm back in Houston. And I just wanted to create this video and keep my word, even if it is a little late. So here today in this video, we're going to talk about this weird website that you may have seen, Heist Nunk. It's pronounced Hicket Nunk. And it means here and now, okay? It's a NFT marketplace built on the Tezos blockchain. And I have watched the community blow up. I've watched people kind of fall in love with this platform. I've been kind of resistant to even getting on the platform for no particular reason, just because I'm already on too many different platforms. And so I finally minted my first piece. I've been collecting a few pieces um, of some artists. But I finally minted my first one yesterday. And so I want to kind of walk you through the interface and just kind of show you guys what's available here um, at here now. Okay, the first thing, which I'm not going to go into in this video, there's probably going to be other videos or I can make a separate video about the wallet. You're going to need a separate wallet. There's a separate cryptocurrency on this and it's called Tezos. And that is available at Coinbase. Okay, so here is the temple wallet at the very top. It's like a plug-in like MetaMask. All right, that is the Tezos uh, main wallet that you will use with here and now. Okay, so the website is H I C E T N U N U N C dot X Y Z. Really hard to pronounce. That was one of the reasons that I didn't like it. I didn't feel like people would like go and type that or like mistype it. You know, that was a real big problem. But I've been seeing people just uh, go ahead and get their own URLs and then point it, pointing it over to their profile, which is a great idea, which is what I'll probably do, uh, I'll end up doing, I have a bunch of domains. So anyway, that's the website, I'll put it in the description, but here you go, you're gonna see this website, it's very minimalistic, and it's kinda, there's a few things that are kind of like not intuitive, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sync up my wallet, I'm gonna log in, it's gonna ask me to connect, just like MetaMask would, it takes a moment, Okay, so now I'm connected to my account uh, on here and now. All right, so you can scroll through the work that's being minted. I'm not sure how they're displaying this. It kind of looks, feels random. Wow, that's nice. I really like that. I may have to save this one. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna save that one for later. I'm gonna go and collect that probably. Ah, it's not for sale. Dang it, I love that. Okay, sucker for the beaches and the water and stuff like that. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so you can see what kind of work that's being minted, but you're going to go to this little menu bar here, right? And you got random. It's going to show you random NFTs. Gallery is going to show you galleries. Now, object, OBJKT, that's where you mint. Okay, I'm going to walk you through that. And then manage assets is how you come, like manage the assets that you have, manage the ones that you've already minted, that kind of thing. Then you have the about. And then obviously you have the FAQ, the FAQ. And now this is kind of counterintuitive. You think you're like, oh, I can just figure this out. Well, there's a few things that you need to like kind of reference the FAQ for. Like, um, how do I mint? How do I edit my profile? That's one that's kind of like not intuitive. You can't just click here and like edit your profile. You have to like fill out a form and send a transaction. They verify it. It's kind of like a kind of a pain in the butt, but I, I see why they're doing it. But anyway, let's get to the minting process. Okay, so you're going to click on object. You're going to give it a title. You're going to give it a description. You're going to go ahead and put tags with a comma separating them. Now here, additions, you want to add however many additions you want total. So if you want to mint like 100 of them, you type in 100. If you want to do one, you type in one. 1,000, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Now royalties, you're going to set uh, the percentage. So you can do 10%, let's say 15%, whatever. You're going to go ahead and upload object. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. This is what it looks like, right? This is just a preview. It's gonna show the title, it's gonna show the description that you put, it's gonna put the tags, and then you would click mint object, okay? Then it's gonna prompt you uh, with the wallet. It's gonna say confirm the transaction. You're gonna wait a little while and it's gonna confirm the transaction. Okay, so I'm not gonna go and re-mint the same thing and I'm not just gonna mint something random on this account. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's minted, right? So here is the actual minted work. You can see the object number, which is one of the cool things about it, right? You can give this link out or just the object number, right? So this is kind of how people are doing it. Is they'll show like a picture of the NFT and then they'll say object, you know, 136075. And then people can just figure that out 
type it in here and then get to the specific object, which I kind of like. Okay. So now with one thing that you're going to see when you mint your, your first piece is it's going to say not for sale here. And this is kind of one of the nuanced things that is going to be a little confusing that you're going to have to try to like figure out. Okay. Um, so to do that, you're going to go, once you've already minted it, you're going to go to here and you go to, going to go to manage assets. Okay. Now, when you click on this thing, you're going to go to this, there's info, there's collectors. This will show you who's collected the work. I just minted this last night. No one's collecting it. I only made a 25 uh, editions available um, out of 100. So nobody has this yet. The thing that you're going to have to do is click swap, which makes zero sense to me in my mind why they labeled it swap. So you're going to go to swap. Okay. Now you're going to do object amount. That means how many? I want to do 10. Let's say, yeah, let's just say 10. Price per object. One Tez. Okay. Please note that items intended to be giveaways can be collected in multiple editions and resold in large quantities. Please ensure you are happy with the quantity and price chosen before swapping. Swaps which carry values are charged a 2.5% fee for platform maintenance. That is what they're charging. And so why does it say zero? I want one. Okay. One Tez. And see, this is not labeled. So like sometimes you might have to like erase it and go somewhere else and it'll tell you what it is. Price per object in Tez. So I put one and this is how many, right? When I click swap, I'm going to go ahead and make 10 more available. Okay. When I click swap, preparing swap, here's what happens. You're also going to see this when it's minting, right? This is the charge. Gas fee is 0.4 cents. Storage fees 0.27. Okay. I'm going to confirm. Boom. That's the, that's the block explorer, like ether scan on Ethereum based platforms. Okay, so at some point here in, in a little bit, when I refresh, it'll show 10 more, right? So it should be uh, 35 available, right? Let's see if it works right now. It may take a little while to, to update because it's confirming and all that stuff. So, but that's how you put it for sale, right? And collect for one Tez, that means that's what your buyers, collectors would pay. They'd pay one Tez. They just click there and they could collect it, okay? So those are the basics. Now let me show you the other part of it because like if you click on this profile, you're going to see, let's go to manage assets. Okay, this is my account, right? Like there should be a user photo and like maybe a description and stuff and there's not. And it's not, there's no button you can press here to actually update your profile. You're going to have to actually go to the FAQ and choose how to edit my profile. Click this. Then you're going to have to follow these instructions. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You know, you could read this whole thing and like walk through it, but the short of it, right? These are the things you have to do. Okay. The easiest way to do it, follow the short answer, fill out this Google doc and wait 72 hours. So I'm going to follow through with that, right? So you're going to go ahead and put your account address, right? So how do you get that? You can click this. It's going to take you to your address. This is the block explorer, right? So you can actually either copy it from up here. You have to be careful, right? That's my address. Or you can click here. Actually, you can click here, copy account address, right? So that's copied, okay? So you're going to go here. You're going to put in your account address. You're going to give it a name, like an alias. Mine is Cryptovert. You're going to add a square image. Make sure it's PNG, okay? They're asking for PNG. Just give them a PNG. Add a squared avatar image. Um, here, this is the part that's kind of like, okay, I need to do this. So you need to send this amount, 0 0.003521 Tez, from your account to this address. So how do you do that? You're going to copy this address here. Right-click, copy. You're going to open up Temple, right? And you're going to click send. You're going to put that address here. And you're going to type in that amount, which was point zero point zero zero three five two one Tez. Right? You're going to select how fast you want it to go. You can just do the minimal and click send. I've already done this, but you're going to get a transaction ID. That transaction ID is what you want to put right here. This is how they verify that you're in control of this address. And without actually showing you, it's kind of 
a little bit confusing. So let me go back and show you like another transaction um, so I can show you, right? So this is the transaction ID, right? It should be really, really long. Yes. It's a little confusing. Like I said, it's, it's not intuitive, um, but that was the activity. I'm going to erase that. If you have a Twitter account, it would be helpful if you had a Twitter account. It makes it easier. You're going to click this, follow them, click done. You don't need to put your email if you don't want to. It's going to be publicly available. I don't want to put my email publicly available like that, so I didn't. I do have a website. I put my website. I put my Twitter URL link. So it's twitter.com forward slash your username. Um, you can add your Instagram link. You can add a Telegram link. You can add a Reddit link, GitHub, Facebook profile. I wouldn't put that on there. Um, and then you want to put like a little description right here. Click submit. Then what you're going to have to do is just wait the 72 hours. And that is literally how you update your profile. And that seems like a really convoluted, complicated process. But that's how they have it. That's how it works. And that's one of the big questions a lot of people have. Okay. So that is essentially how you mint on here at now, here and now. Hit get nunk is how it's said. Um, I would definitely go and buy a domain if you're going to use this pl platform because it is so cheap and it is, you know, they, they build it as eco-friendly. I would go get a domain and then just repoint, redirect that domain to your actual profile address, right? That would make it easy for other people instead of trying to tell them like, oh, go to this website. And it's like all these weird characters. Like, I don't like that. I don't think that's feasible for most people. So anyway, that's what I would recommend. If you guys have any questions, feel free to jump into the Discord. I do see this community growing. I do see some passion behind it. I see engagement around it. So it does look like it's going to be a cool place to be. Uh, and I do know that I'm a little late to the party, but I was just waiting to see what was going to happen with this before I kind of dove into it. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, have a fantastic day. See y'all later. Bye.